Oh, it sure will be. It's going to be keeping you pretty busy, Anne Marie. It's going to be keeping all drivers really pretty busy who have to hit the roads. Now, if you're a, a regular here on M59, you know that it is four lanes. I'm standing uh, right near Sterrett. It's a neighborhood road that happens just west of M53. Now, in these eastbound lanes with four of them, traffic gets pretty congested on just a normal, regular basis. But I, I want to flip around here real quick so you guys can see there is uh, some signage, some sandbags, all starting to prepare for the fact that four lanes will soon become two and this already backed up section will become even worse. Now it all starts at 6 a.m. Crews are going to be closing two eastbound left lanes on the M53 bridge and that closure is going to be lasting about a month, about four weeks. There will also be multiple lane closures both east and westbound near Garfield on M59. That is supposed to be happening in large part between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., which MDOT says are off peak hours, but there'll be a lot of those construction projects happening overnight as weather permits. It's all part of phase one. This is a $60 million project. They're going to be resurfacing the pavement, replacing traffic signals. Those of you who drive in M59, you've probably already seen that parts of the median have just been torn up and that there are some traffic signals now missing. It's about to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Thankfully, we have Anne Marie LaFlame in the studio to help you get around the mess. But in the meantime, you're going to want to plan on quite a bit of a backup here at M59 and M53. Again, it all starts at 6 a.m. just in time for rush hour, which will probably feel more like a leisurely stroll no one really wants to be on. Reporting live, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.